Here is meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. It is 615 on our Thursday, December 31st. Finally, we've made it almost to the end of 2020 today to get through and then it's all over and done with. As we look at our December 31st by the numbers in Boise, typically those daytime highs are right around 36 degrees as we wrap up the year and our morning lows around 23. The warmest, by the way, we've ever been on December 31st was back in 1996. We hit 58 degrees in Boise. We'll be nowhere near that today. In fact, we have a pretty spot on average day coming our way. Visibility across the region is good at this moment. We are at 29 degrees in Boise, so milder than average to kick things off. Mostly cloudy and a little bit snowy in places. This has not been the significant push of precipitation that we had anticipated yesterday. I'll explain why here in a moment, but we are seeing some very light snow showers starting to break apart though in just the last 30 minutes or so south of Boise. It's been enough up in the West Central Mountains that Brundage has added about four inches of fresh powder over the last 24 hours or so. They cleared the snow stake last night, so this might be closer to six or seven inches, I guess, by the time it's all said and done. But overnight, we've added about four inches total at Brundage. So great news for skiers and boarders. So here's what happened to this system. It's still out there. It is still happening. We've just seen it kind of split into almost two different pieces of energy here. So much of the moisture is now to our south and to our north. Salt Lake City has a snowy start on their hands, and it looks like we have plenty of rain and snow across Washington State. And we may see a little bit more precipitation here before for our Thursday is over and done with. This is midday, 11 o'clock, maybe into the lunch hour. A few snow showers, maybe that wintry mix across the Boise area. Another inch or two, maybe two might be generous for the West Central Mountains before the day is over and done with. Here's about midnight tonight. If you are headed out to the driveway, maybe to do the pots and pans with the kids or do some sparklers, you should have nice dry conditions. It'll be chilly around 30 degrees at midnight. We'll likely wake up to a little fog tomorrow morning, still mostly overcast for our first day of the year. Some very light snow showers may pop up in the central mountains off and on tomorrow, but it looks like for the most part, Friday is going to be our driest day. And then look what happens over the weekend. This is our mountain precip chance. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, here comes the snow. We have some models hinting at the possibility from now through the middle of next week that we could see a foot and a half or more of snow accumulation for those higher elevations in our area ski resorts. But we have warming temperatures on the way for the Treasure Valley, so that will all come in as rain in the Boise area into the end of the weekend and early next week. Today, like I mentioned, spot on average temperatures, mid 30s across the board for the Treasure Valley with those spotty showers during the next uh, couple of hours and then tapering off to dry conditions by this evening. 34 on tap for Garden Valley Council. You'll see about 33 degrees today, mid to upper 20s for Long Valley, McCall, Donnelly, Cascade area with some light snow showers coming and going throughout the morning and afternoon hours. Partly cloudy with some fog possible over in Stanley and Sun Valley early today and then some sunshine peaking through this afternoon in the Magic Valley. Mostly cloudy skies, a few light snow showers possible again through midday, almost identical to the Boise area and 36 degrees on tap for the final day of the year in Twin Falls. Look how our temperatures start taking off as we head into the first few days of January. 40 degrees tomorrow, 42 on Saturday, mid 40s Sunday and Monday in Boise, but with scattered rain showers popping up early next week as well.